Hello EOS Nation! Today we'll review what Rex is, how it works, and how you can use it. To access Rex, we'll be using Blocks.io. We'll also link to the Blocks.io forum, which will further explain how Rex works. Rex, as defined by Blocks.io, is a resource exchange on EOS. It's a marketplace to allow risk-free leasing of network resources, CPU and Net. You need these resources to successfully make transactions on the EOS network. You access them by staking or allocating a portion of your EOS tokens to CPU and Net. The more you transact on the network, the more EOS you need to have staked for resources. If you don't have enough EOS to stake for your required network usage, you can borrow the necessary resources on Rex for a fraction of the cost of owning them. For those who have more EOS than their usage demands, Rex is an opportunity to earn additional EOS. When you lend your EOS into Rex, you receive Rex tokens. As fees accumulate into the Rex pool from CPU and net loans, premium name bids, and RAM purchases, the value of your Rex token increases to net you more EOS at the end of the loan. Rex allows dApps and users to rent network bandwidth and CPU for a fraction of the capital cost of owning, and will encourage adoption of EOS. Token holders are able to lend EOS to Rex by purchasing Rex tokens. In order to successfully lend EOS to Rex, you must also stake and vote for at least 21 BPs. You can do this by simply going to the Vote tab and either vote for 21 individual block producers or proxying your vote to a proxy that is actively voting for at least 21 BPs, such as EOS Nation's Proxy for Nation. You can lend as much EOS you want to Rex, but you must wait at least 4 days for your loan to be processed before you can withdraw your EOS. The longer you hold the loan, the more you can earn. After the 4 day period, you may request to unlend your loan, or a portion of it, and will receive the lent amount plus interest. Please be advised that if there are a lot of long-term loans being taken out at one time, you may not be able to withdraw your funds until they become available, which can take up to 30 days. Now walking you through the lending process, go to Blocks.io, sign in, and select the Rex tab on the top right. Now enter the amount of EOS you would like, or select a percentage of your holdings. Once you're ready, go ahead and click Lend EOS to Rex. Once you've waited the minimum stake period of 4 days, you're able to unstake your EOS and receive your lent amount plus interest. If you move your liquid loans to savings, there's a 4 day withdrawal period to move your funds out of savings. Once the 4 day timer is over, your tokens are completely liquid and can be easily moved back to your account without waiting for an unstake period. In this example, we go to the Move to Savings tab, enter the desired amount in the Amount field of the Move Lent EOS to Savings section, and approve the action. Now in the Move Lent EOS from Savings field, I create a transaction to remove the same amount. Under Processing Loans, it gives me a future date, 4 days, where my savings withdrawal will be available. After waiting the 4 days, I can now unlend the amount and it immediately appears in my liquid EOS balance. The other features of Rex are borrowing CPU and Net. You may want to borrow a set amount of CPU or Net resources to run your own account or supply resources to one of your smart contracts. It's a popular resource option for dApps. Feel free to contact us on Telegram if you have any further questions. You can also view the video tutorial from Blocks.io. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the earning potential of lending to Rex.